All right, here's a little goofy one. One that uh, may give you a little run, even though it's fairly simple. A bag of M&Ms is composed of 28% red M&Ms. So that means for every 100 M&Ms, there are 28 red. So we, that's a conversion factor right there. How many M&Ms must be eaten in order to eat 35 red M&Ms? So we're just assuming you can't like just look at it and pick out the red ones. So we know that we have 28 red M&Ms for every 100 total M&Ms. That's our conversion. That's what this 28 business can be interpreted. 35 red. What are the units of our answer? How many M&Ms? So just total number of M&Ms. And since this is not something for something, this is not this is not that. So we're not going to start with this. We're going to start with the only other thing we have, which is 35 red. So 35 red M&Ms. <clears throat> I need to get from red M&Ms to total number of M&Ms. My percentage will do it for me. I know for every 28 red, I have a total of 100. Red cancel. Bingo. So 35 times 100 divided by 28 equals 125. So if you couldn't watch and pick out red, you'd have to eat 125 M&Ms before you ate 35, or in order to eat 35 red ones.